Finally, one more thing. What do you say we throw one of those containers inside that network? Let's take website two. Just under his restart, I'll add networks, colon, enter, tab, tab, tab. I'll specify the network, copy, and then his IPv4 underscore address. I'll just say 192.168.92, we'll do dot like 21. Let's save it and test it out. Control X, Y, enter to save. Docker compose up dash D. Let's watch the magic happen. That was fast. Now notice something here. We already had our compose file up and running, but here when we changed the file and we ran the docker compose up command once more, it just updated what we changed. It created that new network and it recreated website too. Let's take a look. We'll do docker compose ps. There they are. We'll do a docker network ls. There's our two compose networks, one by default, one we specify. And then if we inspect our new network, docker inspect, if I spell it right, I can see that container inside right there with the IP address we configured. So Docker Compose, knowing it not only makes you awesome, but it unlocks the door to a ton of fun projects and just knowing Docker better.